Hello group, today we're going to talk about addictions and specifically Gaber Mate and the five how-tos that I would like to ask Gaber Mate or if you know of anyone dealing with addictions or struggling through addictions or yourself have addictions that you need to pay attention to in order to get through your addiction, in order to get to better mental health. So who is Gaber Mate? <laughs> Gabor Mate is a physician working in Canada, Vancouver, BC. He's had a long history of working with the indigent. Uh, indigent. <laughs> That's a hard word to say. So he has a lot of people also from the native community, from the indigent and the indigenous community. And he's bright, he's compassionate, he's a Holocaust survivor, and he's wrote, written several books, for example, this book, Gabor Mate in the Realm of the Hungry Gods, about dealing with addictions. And these are five how-tos that I want to ask him, and I would like you to be aware of if you are dealing with addictions or struggling with addictions. So Gabor says that his first main issue around addiction is it's probably starts from a childhood trauma or something like that or it's a trauma event and he gets into this thing of explaining that the trauma is from a psychic wound now as a physician he typically deals with the, the body but recently he's realized that the mind is very important and also of course by identifying that trauma is located or a psychic wound psychic meaning spirit the spiritual wound well the only next step is how do you remove the trauma? Well, you might feel it in your body, your mind will be reacting, but you really have to do is do some spiritual work. So I applaud the fact that medical professionals are realizing that there is this spiritual connection to trauma and that it does affect people. Now the key is how do you remove it? And working as a hypnotherapist in the area of the subconscious mind, where I do work in the spiritual realms, I come across this a lot. I use a new regression therapy where we have divine beings come in and assist you in removal of this trauma. And the other how-to I'd like to share with you is spiritual awakening. Typically in his books, and this is in AA, where you go through the steps, and then the final step is once we have received the spiritual awakening, we will go and help others, right? Well, what is the process of awakening? How do you do that? How do we how do we go through that? And in his books, he, he mentions that everybody has their own journey. Well, there's so many journeys up to the mountain. Another book that I read about the art of metaphysical communication, he explains, this author explains how you basically, there are so many ways to go up, but the fastest way is through meditation and hypnosis. So if you are going and trying to understand your own spiritual awakening, please look into meditation, hypnosis as tools. These are the super highways of connecting. If you guys like the content I'm doing, if you would like me to share more content, please subscribe to my channel, add a like so that I continue doing these videos because these videos need to be shared. Other people, other addicts are going through this and at least it gives them some insight into how they should tackle their mental health emergency or issues. So another how-to I would like to ask Gabor Mate is the issue around self-love. How do you stop your self-loathing? How do you go into understanding self-love? And it's amazing in some of the experiences I've been having, specifically women. Women have an issue around self-love, also men do too, but for men it's mostly self-worth. And in loving yourself, you also have to understand and forgive yourself. In the work that I do in the spiritual realms, what happens is that in when my clients drink from the font of forgiveness, Forgiveness. Something happens to their bodies. They feel goosebumps. They feel some energy go through. Forgiveness is so vital. There are so many ways you can look at addressing forgiveness and self-love, but the way that it's done so gently in the spiritual realms is what I would recommend. Now, another thing that is not really discussed about addictions and work in addictions is an area that I work with, and it's how to remove entities. Now, typically a lot of people going through addictions they might have that white wolf on one side and the gray or the dark wolf on the other. And the dark wolf is the one or gray wolf or is the one that at three o'clock in the morning, you're phoning your drug dealer to get that hit. You need it in order to address your biophysical makeup and what's going on with your body. So how do we get rid of one and support the other? And in the work that I do 
we've identified and other hypnotherapists have shown that close to and even given numbers like 80 percent of people have entities and especially in people who are struggling with addiction they predominantly do have an entity. So how do we remove entities? How do we address entity removal? What do we do? What is the process? Can we do it easily, lightly, without any difficulty? And that's possible again in the spiritual realm. Now, lastly, I was following another physician in BC and he's working with the BC Substance Abuse Center and it's Dr. Har Harvey's. And he basically states Jeff Harris explains that alcoholism is not specifically from a moral issue. It's a bio-neurological issue in the brain happening. So they're realizing it's biophysical, it's something happening in the brain. How do we address it? And he's identified prescription medicine. It's now available to all. And he's been trying to develop methods to basically address these biophysical issues in the brain or the brain's chemistry. My thing I would like to do is maybe there's other alternatives. What he's doing now is he's doing by deep brain stimulation in order to address addictions. Can we use something else? Would Reiki help? Would another frequency help? Is there a frequency that we can send and to assist, for example, addicts with their deep brain physiological or physio immunological responses in order to address their addiction? Maybe those are things that we need to address. So Capramati found this connection between the body between the mind. The next step for us is to attach the spirit and learn more about the spirit, accept it, understand it, and focus in on the love. Because when you heal the spirit, the body and mind will follow. Thanks for listening.